change everything.
ma'am, I'm going to read right here real quick in the Bible real quick. It says, I, uh, it says it's Romans 12. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given to me to everyone who is among you not to think himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt each one a measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function. So we being many are one body in Christ and individually members, indiv uh, members of one another, having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us. Let us use them. If it's prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. Our ministry, let us use it as our ministering in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching. He who exhorts in exhortation. He who gives with liberty. He who leads with diligence. He who shows mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be kindly affectionate to one another. With brotherly love and honor, giving preference to one another, not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in the prayer, distributing to the needs of the saints, given to hospitality. Bless those who persecute you and bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble, and do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Okay, this is talking about whatever you do. Each where well, there's gifts for the, each person in the body of Christ. Now. The number one thing is you got to get your heart right and get if you're going to be in ministry you need to make sure you know get all the the secret stuff between you and God out. You say, "Hey Lord, forgive me of this, it, repent of it and stop doing it," you know. But he give I believe when each person gets saved, he gives you gifts. Each one of the persons got a gift. Some have got more than one. I believe some, you know, and as you begin to do more stuff, the Lord will give you more. I believe that cuz I've seen that happen with uh, lots of folks. But a lot of people don't have a clue what their spiritual gift is, even though they're doing all kind of stuff that's their spiritual gift. <laughs> so this will kind of lead you in that, you know, give you an idea. And then he, uh, so I'm going to take it too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it too. So, okay. On the first step right here, it says uh, you've got... Five numbers here. It says number one is almost never. Number two is seldom. Number three is sometimes. Four is frequently. And five, almost always. So them's the one through five. And as I answer each one, you write a number out there by it. And at the end of it, we'll, we'll add those numbers up. And then you pick your top three. And that's supposed to be kind of, if you answer these correctly, don't d dwell on it too long because don't say what you think you ought to say. Think what's in your heart. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's, that's the best. Just answer it truthfully. Like I say, I ain't going to take them up and guard, grade you on it or nothing like that. But if y'all want to talk to me later, we can go over some of, the, some of what it, each one of the gifts is. But this will give you an idea of what you might be gifted to do. And... Uh, so let me pray, Lord Jesus, Lord, as we do this, Lord, I ask that you just help it lead each person in here, Lord, to, in the direction that you want them to go, Lord. You've got a calling on every person in this room, Lord. And I ask that you just begin to show them through this, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, the first one. I like organizing services and events. Number two, I enjoy starting new churches. Number three, 
Now, you're going to think some of these questions is like, what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So just, just answer. If, it's, if you don't, just answer one then. You know what I'm saying? Working with my hands is uh, fun for me. I can tell when someone is insecure. Insincere. <laughs> okay, thanks. Let me get my flashlight out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> Hear that Hank Williams song, I Saw the Light. Okay. Yeah, I can tell when someone is insincere. So that's number four. Well, I changed my number on that. <laughs> I pray for the lost daily. Encouraging others is a high priority in my life. Number seven, believing God for our daily needs is important to me. Number eight, influencing others for the kingdom of God through finances is extremely important to me. Influencing others for the kingdom of God through finances is extremely important to me. Number nine, I look for opportunities to pray for the sick. I enjoy doing the little things that others do not. <sighs> Ever who gets five on that one? Let me, I want to talk to you after service. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, number 11. Having people over to my house is something I do often. <laughs> well, <y 'all>, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Spending hours in prayer for people is very enjoyable to me. Spending hours in prayer for others, people is very enjoyable to me. Now, just remember, you got one through five. So, you know, you ain't, don't get under condemnation. Because I, I think, oh, man, I, if I answer that in truth, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so just answer it truthfully. <laughs> well, I better... Okay. <laughs> Education is very important to me. I tend to motivate others to get involved. My heart hurts when I see others hurting.
I believe God will use me to enact uh, his miracles. I believe God will use me to enact his miracles. Number 17, I enjoy sharing the gospel with other people, groups, and nationalities. Nationalities. Is there somebody back there watching that baptistry? Huh? I just going to make sure that. I just hear, I don't want. Oh, man, there's water running. No, I just. I just heard it running. It just made me cross my mind. I'll wait just a second till we check real quick. Oh, is he? Okay, there's somebody checking it. They said, they said, all right, back Okay, number 17, I enjoy sharing the gospel with other people, groups, and nationalities. That's number 17. Okay, 18, I've devoted, uh, devoted considerably time to uh, mastering my voice and our, in, uh, and our instrument. Caring for the hurting is uh, paramount in my eyes. That's number 19. Number 20. The willful sin of others really uh, aggravates me. The willful sin of others really aggravates me. I enjoy serving behind the scenes, number 21. Number 22, I like uh, creating outlines of the Bible. Number 23, God has used me to interpret a heavenly language. I enjoy uh, the book of Proverbs more than any other book in the Bible. Number 25, I am passionate about managing details. Number 26, I, re, I prefer to pioneer a new ministry project. Number 27, I consider myself a craftsman or a craftswoman. Number 28, I sense, uh, I sense when situations are spiritually unhealthy. Number 29, I'm greatly concerned about seeing the lost saved. Number 29, I am greatly concerned about seeing the lost saved. Number 30, I try to come across loving and caring. Asking God for a list of big things is, uh, is exciting to me. Asking God for a list of big things is exciting to me. Number 
32. I find ways to give offering above my tithe. I find ways to give offering above my tithe. I believe miraculous healing is for the, uh, this day and age. Do you believe the Lord heals nowadays? In other words, yes. Helping others is one of my highest achievements. Creating a warm and welcoming home is important to me. I am burdened to pray for situation in the world. I am burdened to pray for situations in the world. Burden, I'm, in other words, if there's earthquakes and some somewhere, just different things around the world, you, you have a option to pray for them. People seek me out to learn more about the kingdom of God. Thirty-eight, I prefer to take the lead whenever necessary. I'm very sensitive to sad stories. Did you cry when you seen old Yeller? <laughs> that might not be a good one, I don't know. <laughs> like everybody cried when they seen old Yeller. <laughs> Miracles often happen when I'm nearby. Living in another country to benefit the gospel is exciting to me. That's country, not county. <laughs> But I guess we could start with a county. <laughs> I desire to serve the church through worship. I desire to serve the church through worship. I enjoy connecting, caring for, and coaching others. Confronting someone with sin in their life is not hard. Confronting someone with sin in their life is not hard. It bothers me when people sit around and do nothing. <laughs> Bye. I share, I share biblical truth with others in hopes of their personal growth. I share biblical truths with others in hopes of their personal growth. I pray in tongues daily. When I study scriptures, God gives me unique insights.
Creating a, a task list is easy and enjoyable to me. That'd be writing down a bunch of stuff you got to get done, I guess. Me and Hope's on two ends of the spectrum on that one. <laughs> she has her list. <laughs> I can't find mine, yeah. <laughs> okay. Number 50, I am attracted to ministries that start new churches. I'm attracted to ministries that start new ter- churches. Building something with my hands is very rewarding to me. Number 52, I can pinpoint issues or problems before others. I enjoy sharing the gospel with a total stranger. I look for ways to be an encouragement to other people. I look for ways to be an encouragement to other people. I trust that God has my back in every situation. That's number 55. Number 56. Making more money means that I can give more. God has used me to bring healing to those who are sick. God has used me to bring healing to those who are sick. Being a part of the process is fulfilling to me. In other words, whatever you're doing, if it's cooking, if it's cleaning, whatever, vacuuming, whatever you're doing, is that fulfilling, knowing that you're doing it for the Lord? I tend to make uh, total strangers feel at home. People often describe me as a prayer warrior. I enjoy knowing biblical details and helping others to understand. I delegate responsibilities to accomplish tasks. I am motivated to help those who are less fortunate. I have a constant hunger to see God's miraculous power. I focus a lot on reaching the world for Christ. I gain my deepest satisfaction through leading others in vocal or instrumental worship. I enjoy walking with someone in times of difficulty. 
I enjoy hearing uh, passionate and clear preaching of the truth. I like to do small things that others pass over. I prefer to teach the Bible topically rather than verse by verse. Praying in the Spirit is encouraging and important to me. When faced with difficulty, I tend to make wise decisions and choices. All right. Now, add them up. Yeah. You add them uh, from left to right and, then just, and put them over there and like, you know, like 1, 25, and 49 and put it over in uh, A. And then uh, it's like, yeah, like 1, 25, and 49. And then put it by A. And then 2, 26, and 50, put it by B. What it is, if you've got a bunch of the different ones, it says pick your top three. But if you've got seven of the same one, just write them all down, and it could be that. You know what I mean? It could be. They say pick your top three. But if you've got a tie on, you know, I don't know if you, I guess it'd be, if you had seven of the same number, Hope, wouldn't it be you just, that? it would probably be in that seven, wouldn't it? Yeah. And I would say go ahead and figure your top four. In other words, it's kind of like because you don't know. I mean, just you can look at the. And just say what you think about it. Pray about it. Anybody got any questions? Main thing I say, do, do everything you can. And then just keep doing it. Because <laughs> I always get tickled about that one guy asking about changing the sign out front. And uh, he looked at Hope and said, well, that's just not my passion. <laughs> so that wasn't his gift. <laughs> Don't get to thinking like that. Well, I wasn't able to my gift on here. <laughs> Somebody's got to plant shade trees and somebody's got to sit under them. <laughs> Don't go to thinking like that. Just, you know what I'm saying? There's all kind of stuff on here you could do. Start thinking about it, though. The Lord, he'll show you. He'll specifically, you'll begin to, have a heart for it. I'm telling you, there's some, I mean, you know, there's some missionaries in here, evangelists, preachers, teachers, but we're all called to lay hands on the sick and pray. You know what I'm saying? We're all called to tell people about Jesus. We're all called to do this. This just kind of gives you an idea if you're just wondering what your dominant thing is. And like I say, don't think well I thought I wanted to do this but you know what I'm saying so let's pray Lord Jesus Lord this gives this gives people an idea and gets them to thinking about what the calling that you've got on each person in this room Lord and Lord if if everybody in this room started doing all kind of stuff that's on this list Lord just Lord just show us how to get it done and give us the spirit of get her done amen <laughs>